Okay, so, so these are the uh, window modules that we did in SketchUp. This is the actual physical units right here. Uh, we, had, uh, we printed out some sheets, and we had all the guys in my team come and uh, build these. It's really great because they can all work on a different part, and they're not step tripping over each other. These effectively form the structure that's going to support the wall around the window. We have the header up top, which is the, actually allows the uh, frame to span. This allows load weight from up top to come down here. This is very, very strong. This is actually two two by sixes put together with uh, two pieces of um, quarter inch. That's there to space these out. A, a two by material is always one and a half inches thick. So when you put two together, you only get three inches. But a two by four is uh, three and a half inches. So we've got to put a little spacer in there. So there's a little spacer. We build the headers up ahead of time. And then we build these boxes uh, as modules. The, the trick we used uh, when doing these is we pick the straightest 2x4 that we've got, and we work off that side. So we start on these. We actually start at the bottom. And we were doing starting along here. This is our straightest 2x4. We screwed this joint up, keeping the square. Let me get a speed square here so I can demonstrate. We are putting the, the, the speed square in there to make sure that our joint was square, screwing it up, and then moving to the next joint. And then all along until we had one side completely uh, squared up. Then we moved along to this side, doing the same thing all the way along. And then we put the last step is to put the supports in the middle. So this is going to be the window head. It's going to stand up just the way I lifted it. <coughs> This will be the window head, and that will be the window sill, and then that's uh, where the floor is. This will actually sit on the floor, just like this. So I'll be looking out of the window like this. It's really nice. We've got a nice flat concrete surface. You could do this in a garage, anywhere you, you've got a nice flat concrete surface, and it, it makes a really, nice, uh, a really nice surface. The cool thing about this is it's like a way of prefabricating, so you could actually be, as you find windows for your tiny house, you could actually be building these modules in your garage storing them there, and then when you go to frame them, all you have to do is attach this to the bottom plate, attach it to the top plate, and then tilt the whole thing up as a wall. You're gonna see that step next, so. Yeah, we need to allow a little space wider than the, than the jam, the window jam, uh, the, window, the box that supports the window. We need to allow, usually about an inch is good, because when we get this up in place, we wanna make sure that our window is perfectly plumb, which means perfectly vertical, and perfectly level uh, across the horizontals. In conventional framing, you basically would build an entire wall flat on the ground and then tilt it all up. And that's really good uh, in professional situations because you've generally got a, like a, a master framer and his assistant. And so he knows he's keeping track of the dimensions and doing it all. But if you had more than two or three people working on a wall, they tend to kind of trip over each other. In this situation, uh, we, can have, we can distribute these. So we've got one group working over here, one group working over here. Uh, and then this also gives the advantage that I was talking about when we were in SketchUp. When we attach this to the wall, we're only going to attach it using two screws here and two screws up at the top. So we can tilt the wall up, we'll get all four of our walls up, and then if we for some reason decide that one window is not quite in the right place or we like it a few inches over, all we need to do is unscrew these four screws and then we can literally just slide it down almost like it's in a track and then re-screw it in in the four places. So that's a really cool, really cool feature. And it just came about because we, we had a number of instances where w once you get in a space, you perceive it a little differently and uh, you kind of think, oh, just six more inches over there sure would be nice. So um, yeah, it's a huge advantage when framing.